To create a digital signature in Adobe Acrobat Professional 11, uh, open up a document, then you'll go to Edit, Preferences. On the left hand side here, you'll make sure Signatures is selected. And under Identities and Trusted Certifications, you'll hit More. Make sure Digital IDs is selected, and you'll click Add an ID. If you are transferring a digital signature from a previous version of Adobe or another computer, make sure you have the PFX file, and you can uh, go this route, hit File Next. If you're creating a new one, select this option down here, hit Next. The new PKCS uh, option is uh, transferable. You can use this on other computers if you have multiple um, PCs. Uh, you can also transfer this to different versions as well. Um, this option requires a password, so if uh, you need the extra security or are signing documents on a shared computer, I highly recommend this one. If not, you can use the Windows Certificate Store. This locks it to your machine in this version. It cannot be transferred, but it does not require a signature. So I'll do the PKCS and hit Next. I'll put in your information. Keep everything else the same. Hit Next. Put in a password. They'll tell you the strength of your password. We recommend one upper, one lower, and a number. Once that's done, hit Finish. And you have your digital signature ready. Now to export the signature to an FDF file, go ahead and hit Export. Save the data to a file. Hit Next. You will um, select where you want to save the document. Hit Save. And then it's complete. You will see your FDF file right here, and you can uh, mail that off. To get the MD5 and SH1 numbers off of your signature, you'll double click on that FDF. You can go to Certificate Details. Under the Details tab, if you scroll down here, select the SH1, you'll get these numbers right here, and the MD5 is right underneath there.